Hey guys, welcome back to the Gucci Birchman Safari, episode 26. Uh, we're in the uh, fire tower in uh, Bleak Inlet. So, yesterday we did a pretty good job of um, covering this, um, this plateau. We took out the Timberwolves here, took out a whole pack of them, which was awesome. And we, uh, yeah, we cleaned out the uh, radio tower, got the code for the, the cannery. And we're back here at the um, fire towers, which is our sort of temporary base of ops. We're going to do a run now back to our cave in uh, Ravine and try to move some more kit. And it occurred to me that I don't really need to bring the hacksaw. So let's drop that. I'm definitely bringing the other stuff, though, just in case. Heavy hammer wouldn't leave without it. Uh, I guess I'll drop a torch. Yeah, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to go light because we're going to be carrying back a lot of stuff. So I guess I'll drop a few of these. I'll take a chance on that. Actually, three. Oh, yeah, I did plan to repair that, uh, this thing. Insufficient materials. Probably going to need to put two repairs into this thing. So let's get four. And right away, I'm glad that we're going to have some cloth where we're going. Yeah. Nice. So that's the second expedition park that we found it over at the uh, the other tower. Um, yeah. So yeah, it looks really cold outside, guys. It does not look welcoming at all. Um, check the parasite situation. We still got the parasite risk. Okay. What's the temperature? Negative fourteen in the in the wind shade. And out in the wind, it's negative twenty three. So it's cold. Um, Eat that thing. Oh, we're gonna drop those MREs. At least drop one of them. Um, do I have a food bin? Is the question. No. Uh, is this the food bin? No, it's the ammo bin. I guess this is kind of the, the catch all for other stuff. So we're gonna put the MREs in here. And yeah, I'm gonna hope that we. Let's take. Okay, we'll take one MRE. Actually. I think there are MREs back at the thing, but I don't know. They're heavy, but it's kind of a waste, but there we go. Probably going to want to make water where I'm going. Um, tell you what, let's sleep an hour and hope that the, that the wind dies down and then it warms up a little bit. Bleak Inlet is really punishing weather. I mean, it's just... Okay, so let's do... I guess... Let's take some wolf meat with us. And bank on the fact that our parasites are going to go. Yeah, and I can't exactly tell whether it's advantageous to go to this cave or not um, to warm up or whether just to go straight out. It probably is better just to go straight out, but... I 
At any rate, let's put an hour in just to warm up and pass some time. Boy, listen to that, guys. So yeah, Bleak Inlet is, is a punishing place. No doubt about it. So I kind of wanted to go back here because I'm pretty sure I left a shell casing over here, but oh, it's so cool, guys. It's down there somewhere. Am I ever going to find it? Corpse over there. That's probably the, the last wolf. Shell casing would have been over here somewhere. There it is. But yeah, I pretty much have to go back to the cave right away. I don't think I can even hang out. So, this is what we're dealing with weather-wise. It's really bad. It's that wind, you know. Really contributes to the bleakness. I'm gonna go sleep another hour. I'd say it's it's right now it's too cold to make it to uh, the ravine without cold damage, so Again, I mean on interloper this would be no big deal. But it's a real big deal on uh, Dead Man, Birch Man. Let's go sleep one more hour. Hopefully, get to that late day. It was fairly nice yesterday evening, so there's hope that it's possible. Unless we get blizzarded, which is, you know, not unlikely, given this place's tendencies. It seems to be a very windy area, so. Hey, right, let's go. I'm going to try to make it. Oh, listen to that. Nasty, nasty weather. Okay, pretty good in the wind shade here. Still mighty cold, but I suppose you can do this, can you? Get you anywhere? No. Doesn't. Just waste time. It's nice that this region ends so close to uh, 
Like there's no long stretch there. Like Timberwolf where you think you're out, but you really have to walk for another 15 minutes. All right, so yeah, that's good. Um, hey guys, so here it comes. Um, prepare to be overweight. Uh, I'd like to see my parasite risk go away. That would be nice. Um, right, so I think I repaired the hat already. Yeah, I did. Okay. So, I mean... The cloth alone. Is insane. Probably have 10 kilograms of cloth. Okay, so I, you know, what am I really bringing? Bringing the sulfur, bringing those. I don't know how many of these I really need. Coffee, bandages, antibiotics, a um, couple of wet zones, cleaning kit. Let's bring the tools. Let's bring the all the coffee, those things. Still not overweight, guys. It's pretty good. Okay, whatever. Let's bring the fire strikers. Um, extra bow. Probably don't need it. Could come back here in a pinch if I need it. And I will find more arrows, arrow shafts, but... Okay, bring a couple. Those will probably need, actually. Scrap metal. Um, I don't know. What would I possibly use that for? The lantern's interesting too. Okay, so they were just about overweight. So that's okay. We're going to go back overweight. Um, okay, that's overweight. So yeah, um, it'd be nice to warm up here. I really want that parasite risk to go away so I can drop, eat that meat. I could just, I could take the 5%, but I feel like it's so close. Yesterday evening ate my last piece of uh, wolf meat. Sorry guys, gotta wait a sec. Do I have any sharpening to do? Yes. Okay, tell you what, um, I'm carrying a bunch of sticks. Let's get some buffs on the go. And we're just going to do it. that going and do I take a lantern you know I'm gonna say no I'm gonna say they're probably not required uh, let's might as well take these they're heavy but then let's take all this okay. so yeah we're definitely overweight I guess you know at this point go big uh, lanterns are a little tempting, but they're so heavy. I suppose I should take one though, right? And we'll just grind our way down. Oh, 
should be getting warmish out. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're off. Savage. It's a windy, windy hilltop, guys. Okay. It's a really loud, loud region so far. Hatchet. Oh, and I didn't bring my hacksaw. Got nothing for that. Interesting. Okay. So, um... Time to make some decisions. Basically, there's nothing left to do but go down into the into bleak, guys. So let's not muck about. Oh, there, there we go. Excellent. Yeah. So I think they increased the texture resolution for the fire tower. Like all these textures on the stairs are higher than before. So as they crank the texture res up, that's where my system starts to feel it. And I still think it's an insanely low, low, uh, you know, fidelity game, but it's still very stressful for the system, which is interesting. All right, so we're back. Um, let's do a massive drop off of stuff. I'm gonna need to put, separate some stuff out because we're really gonna be over, all overloaded here. Um, Okay, I'm gonna put clo spare clothing and uh, hides and stuff here. Let's go clothing, so let's drop that thing. Drop those hides. Um, a whole lot of them, but that's good. It's very convenient to have all that stuff. I could have brought the extra couple of guts that we're curing because you know we're not gonna run into uh, the wolves, but oh well. Okay, wow. Okay, 17 cloth. I think that's okay. Um, drop these. So let's see what the story is. I've got... 
Uh, I gotta do a complete gear shake down here. So. Oh, gee, so. I have no idea what to bring down to the. Um, to the cannery. Let's think about it. So, let's drop all these. Okay. Um, I'm gonna drop two of these. They can't fit it anymore. Wow. We're really maxing these things out. Oh, yeah, arrows. So. What's my arrow situation right now? I've got, I've got three bows. Let's drop. That thing's full. Okay, we're gonna bring all our ammo. We're gonna need it. So now we can drop our bow, spare bows. Um, you know, eleven arrows is pretty good, guys. Unless I run into a moose, but it's still pretty good. Okay, let's drop. Um, got way more. Okay, I might need the flare shells. Let's bring them. We're gonna bring all the casings. And I think I'm gonna bring the. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna bring the hatchet. Gotta bring the hacksaw. Gotta bring the stump remover. I'm not sure, I can carry much more. And there we are. We're way over. So. Um, okay, we're gonna drop a bunch of coffee for sure. What did I say this drawer was? Assorted stuff. Okay, I've got 10 of those. That's not that many, actually, guys. Um, I'm going to bring more. But I'm going to drop this. We're running out of space, guys. We have a storage problem. I'm going to have to use the, uh, the fire bin for it. Oh, no, this one's got space. Okay. I, I should have stuff more organized. It is a base, but... Uh, being disorganized. What can I say? Okay, so we'll bring all that coffee there, which is kind of in rough shape. Um, all right, and stuff's coming along. So where are we at now? We're at 40, still over. Okay, I don't need all those stems. Two stems should be plenty. Plenty of painkillers. Uh, the dusting sulfur and stuff is just in case I need to do something with that. I don't know quite what to do with it, but I'm ready to bring the hatchet. Although, yeah, I already found a hatchet. My, this hatchet might have been the one that came from down there, so there may not be another one is what I'm trying to say. Those, just in case, I don't know what the cannery is going to require, so, oh, look at all these guys. Okay, three is pretty good. We're kind of counting on finding one, but I'll just leave it at three for now. There are two of those. Okay, and let's sort of repair it to the... Uh... Now the question is, I should... Can I go now? I could go now. Um, that's going to put us over, eh? Wow, guys, we're really not in good shape for weight. It's just not good. Let's do this sort by weight thing. Oh yeah, the I think uh, the lantern. I think I'm gonna leave it here because I can use torchlight down there if I have to. Although crafting and stuff down there, right? But I don't know. We will come back. This is not our only foray. The reason I got the rope is that I can do trips. So, um, hmm. Does that mean I leave these behind? There's no reason to have these up here. They don't. They're not gonna do anything. So I might as well take them with me. And bullets and stuff. Okay, let's leave some of the bullets behind. I don't need 144 rounds. Like, Let's leave the 44. Probably regret this, but we can always come back, right? In theory. Now let's leave... I'll take 40 rounds of that thing. So that's a lot. That's good. And I hopefully will be able to regenerate some rounds. So that took us down a fair bit. Okay. Yeah, the reason I like to go now is it is the end of the day, right? So it's a good time to go. Um, eat a piece of this. It's windy, but I think I could make it down to that little hut over there. 
and spend the night down there and then be on terra firma when it comes to uh tomorrow the thing is like this is the best time of day right it's just so windy um do I, am i gonna regret not bringing a deer hide from my boots no they're 99 and maybe i should bring the repair on the gloves just in case right just in case we take a beating which we will all right so that's pretty good i can still climb the rope i think but i'll come down pretty tired Tell you what, let's, um, is it going to let me do this? No. But yeah, let's just do that anyway. It occurs to me that I'm coming down with just one fire striker. I should take two because, um, yeah, I've got, you know, I want to be able to liberally make fires. That did it. Okay, let's cook um, one of these nasty coffees. It's sounding fairly windy. Uh, let's take the other. Oh, 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 my God. Whoa. Out of it there. Just about lost that fire. Um, oh, yeah, this. So, yeah, okay. Sorry. Now, what I'm th thinking is it would be nice to be able to repair an arrow down there if I find a workbench. So, let's take one of these. Let's take two, considering I'm probably going to break one. Oh, and there are my. Oh, and let's take that. Let's take that. Oh, and let's take that. Okay, that's going to get us a little heavier. Okay. We'll leave a leader on just so while we're gone, there's uh, something happening. Let's go. Really cold in the winter, guys. Sort of wondering if this is the wrong time to go, but... That is a long rope. Gotta be careful because I got a bit of stink on me. Okay, here we go guys, so it's actually pretty convenient. Oh look at you can see my smoke coming out of the fire tower, that's awesome.
guys, did I? I think I think I might have left my crowbar back there, guys. Oh. Yeah, I did. Oh no. That's gonna be a big problem, guys. Ow. That sucks. Okay. Tell you what. Oh. And it's super dark in here, guys. Wow. It's to the point. I'll leave the cabin. Okay. Let's just warm up a sec. Darn, because I know there's um, lockers in the. Uh, I know there's lockers in the cannery that need the crowbar. Shucks. Well, that's a conundrum. That's a real conundrum. Hmm. I couldn't have carried it though, but I probably didn't need to take that or that. The crowbar is more important than that thing. I just thinking maybe I'd run into some brush I had to cut through. I mean, that all being said, I went pretty light. I mean, I could have made it with a full uh, energy. Darn. Oh dear. Well, I'm not sure quite what to say about that. Uh, tis a bummer. Okay, we're gonna need to make a fire to make some uh, some water. So. I just thought I'd go over here because I hadn't been over here before, but I don't know if there's anything up this way. Oh, picnic area. There you go. There's a little crossing here. Yeah, not entirely sure why they let us go over here, but... Looks cool, though. It's a loud map, no doubt about it.
Yeah, so I'm in a bit of a conundrum there, guys. I, f I do feel like I have to kind of go back up. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to go to the cannery more than once, right? Um, that's terrible, though. It's like a wasted day, but... Um, there we go. So yeah, let's give this a search. I know I already did when I was here, but... Fair bit of cloth down here, which is nice. Uh, but... There's a lot of cloth. If we were to, to really work it all through. Pillow and everything, it's good. Um, what it might be worth doing though is, instead of just going right back up, go try to take out that temple pack that's threatening us on the way to the cannery. Um, the one near the rope climb. Although we don't have to go up that way. I could I could go um, straight down to the workers' cabins and it's just a shame. I should I should have, you know, brought the crowbar. And I really don't know if you can count on finding another one, so I'm gonna have to go back for it. It's just the way it is. Otherwise I'm gonna end up backtracking later horribly, so. Yeah, let's get this done. Anything funny I can do? Um I guess we can repair the uh, the mitts. We better do another leader. And yeah, I, I knew I had a piece of venison. See how much how much firewood we have left. Okay, that's enough to do one more. And let's break this thing down. Hey, okay, it's coming. And I'm just gonna do those two cans of food so that they're done. I think they're not edible, but I could try them. Yeah, they're not edible. Never mind. In terms of buffs right now, I've got a couple, but So there it is, and uh, yeah, I guess, oh, does it need one more stick? I will find a stick along the way, so do that, and then what I'll do is I'll break down the 16 percenter. Then we're going to sleep, guys, um, and figure things out for tomorrow. So if I'm going to climb back up, I might as well leave some stuff here, right? There better be, oh, there's a container under the bed, I guess that's what it's going to be. So let's. Let's stash some stuff. We're gonna stash these things, this thing, um, this thing, this thing, this thing. Um, it better not get lost here. Too bad about those. They are there's a lot of calories there, but so what else is gonna stay behind? Like you know, all this the dusting sulfur. Um, I guess the MRE cartridges. I guess the casings for now. Let's leave back that coffee. Let's leave that. Down to 33. We're not going up for that much stuff, so. But I think it does pay to climb light. Leave all the cloth. Well, except for six. Always have six, just in case you need a shelter for it. I always just do that. Do it by weight. 
all that stuff pretty much needs to come. The ammo I'm just taking with me because, again, you know, I just don't trust it. Flare gun might be unnecessary, but anyway. Okay, so drop one of those. Spare stem. Let's drop that. So we're kind of down to like a fairly light kit. 32 kilos is nice, but just lots of ammo, lots of weapons. Okay, let's uh, sleep that off. Do eight hours. Nasty time of day to wake up. Um, definitely want to be traveling in the late afternoon. So I think this must be by far the coldest region. It's miserably cold. Could need the hacksaw, which I don't have with me. Um. I'll tell you what, just because we're killing time, let's just harvest all the cloth in here. I'll sleep a bit more. Sounds windy outside. Great. Somebody already stripped the ones from there. Maybe it was me my last way through. Um, okay. Drop all that stuff off. So now with this this place is like a secondary cache. Let's sleep another hour. Can we do it? No, not gonna do it for me. And repair. I can do. Yeah, let's do sharpening on that. Listen to that weather, though, guys. Let's go look at it. It's probably gonna be insane. Negative 30 with all the Gucci, so it's real. Look at just peeling off my temperature right there. So we're gonna want to wait, let this wind die down before we go. in the wind shade. It's negative 14, so that's actually decent. This will be the. Yeah, let's drop that. I could eat anything. Okay. Um, yeah, and we're not, we have nothing, so we're gonna. We do have an MRE, but past an hour. Okay, it sounds like we got a lot nicer. I think let's try to make, take advantage of this break in the weather. Okay. Wait. Sorry. It's still insanely cold. Yeah. Let's sleep one more and then we're gonna go. I think this is still good weather for bleak, like sounds 
sounds like it wants to blizzard. Okay. Drop some of that water, actually. Okay. So it's do or die now. Oh, great. So this here is a pre-blizzard. I wish I had a buff. Looks like we're going to take a condition hit here. Due to freezing, but it's about time we did. I like that this region really puts the Gucci to test. Beautiful, guys. gonna take a hit here guys it's just the way it is oh did we take it I think we took a hit let's see uh no I <laughs> just skipped it by a second there all right it's cold in here though it's only um feels like 22 okay now it's that cold but still I feel like it was warmer before. Uh, good to be back, sort of. Um, what else are we going to take? So I guess we, it is good to have a little bit of ammo up here, just in case, yeah, we come back empty and we have to take out the Timberwolves on our way out. So let's do that. Let's take, I'll take another stim. I'll take a few more of the, you know, various things. Another coffee. I'll take a little more cloth. Oh, there's actually a fair bit down there. Um, okay. But critically, we want the crowbar. And I, I'm going to take another one. Well, might as well take another MRE. We're pretty light, so... Might as well take another of these. Take another stem. You never know. It could get really bad down there. And I guess we'll take this. Right? Nine arrows. Um, got a lot of arrows, actually. Bunch of firewood. So this place is really well stocked. It's like a, it's a great base. Let me just check. I've got for whetstones. I've got just one, guys. Oh, I must have left it down there. But I'm still gonna take an extra just in case. And then in terms of, um, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. So, okie dokie. Uh, okay, better go get some food before we lose condition here. What's the story on the wolf meat? Am I, uh, 
Still got the parasite risk. So let's go sleep a bit. Let's sleep for two hours. Hey, it changed direction. It's still kind of a sub blizzard, but. Warmed up a touch, I think. Okay. Didn't bring a ton of water with me. Did I? Oh, I haven't even cooked that yet. Huh. So in terms of skill for cooking, we're getting there, but it's amazing how long... Oh, there goes the parasite risk. Okay, so on the way out, we're going to eat the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Gonna do a proper blizzard now. Yep. Wow, guys. So it's like the evenings it really, um, really blizzards you. Wow. Look at that, eh? So that might be it. Um, fortunately, and we're we're not that tired. But I don't see us getting out of here. Not with this. It's kind of a rough situation too. We're probably gonna end up having to make more water. Uh, um. Okay, they're cleared up. Not really. Half cleared up. Still a howler. Oh, it's still a full blizzard, guys. Yeah, I can't travel in that, unfortunately. It's, it's definitely a deal breaker. Um, Alright, let's make the best of this, guys. Let's cook some water. It sucks, but... And while we're at it, uh, check the episode timer. Let's get this thing started. Okay, we're coming up to the end, guys, so this may be it. Maybe we'll tie it off here. Um, it would be nice to get back down to that sh shack, so we sort of made some progress. This has been a major, there's been a lot of maintenance lately, uh, recently. Like, I, you know, when you've got a bunker this big, with this much gear, you spend a lot of your time just rearranging it. How are we gonna eat that? Actually, it would make sense to eat this, guys, because it's, um... If I get food poisoning, I'll just sleep it off, and I do want to pass time, so yes, this is a time you want food poisoning. In fact, if I really want food poisoning, I can just eat the Pinnacle Peaches. Um... Do I? I kind of do, right? Yeah. Um... I kind of do. Sort of. But let's do it at the last minute. Let's cook enough water so we make get our mileage out of this match. Forty-seven minutes, and then drop in two of these things. There we go. Okay, died down, but I'm definitely not going out in this. I think I actually am going to do the food poisoning thing, guys. It's crazy, but... Heck of a way to tie off an episode, eh? So yeah, Dave pointed out they did randomize torches. Alright, so let's go do some, some gambling here. It's not really gambling. I think you have to get food poisoning when you have eat something this bad. Uh, let's do it. Okay, got lucky on that one, but this one's gonna be the one. Here it goes. I think it's a guarantee, right? I just wanna die. Okay, let's just make sure I'm in good shape. Food poisoning, okay, 10 hours. Gotta sleep 10 hours. 
I think a problem is this cost me some condition. It's not free on Birchman. Uh, where's the bed? But we do want to kill most of the next day, so. As a strategic time passer, it's, you know. It's okay. Food poisoning's gone, fully rested, getting towards midday. Now we probably did lose a point there of condition. Yes, we lost a percent. So that's the cost of doing business for that. Um, yep, so it is. Uh, okay, same trick could be done downstairs if I had to. Let's just take a peek outside and see what we're dealing with for weather. Uh, it's cold, but it's not insanely cold. Let's eat the wolf meat. I'll leave two liters here. And actually, it occurs to me what I should do is um, should take one of these just in case I need to repair the boots if I get chewed up. All right, so that's that. Um, you can't do a maglens here, can you? That would be that would be too good to be true. No, they don't let you. Okay, I think we're just gonna kind of go, guys. Um, Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna tie it off now. Um, do a quick gear shakedown and tie it off. It's been a good episode. Made some progress. Down to an even 100% condition too, which is great. I actually wanted that because if we lose the well fed, then we don't cost any condition. So it's actually more efficient. Um, let's do a final gear shakedown. Oh, it took some meat with me. That was smart. Drop that outside. Um, I think the thought was that it's going to go bad if I leave it up there for like six weeks. But the raw the the raw stuff up there will go bad. But then I'll be able to cook it up to reasonable. So that was the strategy to leave a little morsel for myself up there. So I've got the storm lantern. 
So let's look at this. So I'm going to want to take the shell casings. I'm going to want to take those for sure. Stomp remover. Yes, that. I mean, there's probably tools in the, the cannery, but what else? Um, food wise, we've got 10 of those. Not that many. I, I'm going to take. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. And we'll leave the coffee back here. MRAs, we may need them. I feel like it's going to be thin over there for the beginning, at least. Um, I'm counting on being able to repair an arrow out there. So I'll take at least one of those. Do I want the hatchet? Yes. So that puts us over, but let's drop this and this. And that leaves our little supply of, um, you know, and we're taking that thing. Okay, so that's good, guys. We're just under there. Just under. And we've got some crappy torches. Um, but this is looking pretty good. Yeah, I do want a bunch of stims. You know, we're going to go into some combat, so we may need them. I'm going to need to repair a lot of clothing, too, probably. So it's looking good. If we do want to do the fishing shacks, we can do them. The only thing I'm a little sensitive about is only 12 cloth. I think we need more than that. So what's a, what am I going to sacrifice here? Um, There ain't much I can sacrifice, really. Go by weight. We are by weight. Um, yeah, you're right. It's whoever mentioned that it is better to have it always sorted by weight. Like why not? Right. Makes sense. Okay. 13 of those. There's a lot of birch bark, but it is kind of my lifeblood. Um, I do have a lot of arrows. I have sort of an unnecessary number of them, don't I? Yeah. Nine plus that. It's a lot, but you never know. I might, I might end up shooting like crazy out there. Flare shells. Kind of want them, you know? Uh, so maybe we just go overweight and that's it. You know, we just haul. I think that's what we do. So I'm going to take another 10 cloth. I just this is a little bit over. I could drop some water. Okay, so let's do that. And we're going to sleep for a couple hours here, guys, and pick it up next time. Sleep for two hours. Hopefully wake up to some balmy evening weather. Come on, guys. A little windy sounding. Okay. All right, guys. So let's call that uh, the end of the episode. Day 61. Even 100% condition. Feeling good. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. I'll catch you next time.